Jordans, Jor Dons, Your Dons. That's it, Your Dons. The J is silent. Yo, what's going on, everyone? I am Mr. Fomer Simpson. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. If you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Now today I have a pair of Jordans on the table as you can see, but I am very, very excited about these. Very excited about these. So I don't want to waste any more time without further ado. Drum roll, please. Bang, bang, the soul fly. Air Jordan 16 Art Basel edition. Moment of silence, man. These are amazing. Bananas. Bananas. So with this release, they only released at Soulfly and they only did 1500 pairs. Each sneaker, sneaker, each sneaker has the number out of 1500 on the back of the tongue. It's a cool little touch. Fancy tings, fancy tings. I absolutely love the way these turned out. As soon as I saw pictures, I was like, yes, I need those. Shouts to my guy JP, by the way, for the assist. I appreciate it, man. I just really can't say enough about this shoe. For those of you who don't know what Art Basel is, it's an annual art show that basically comes to Miami every year. Well, I guess that's what annual is, right? Every year. But it just basically consumes the city for the weekend. There's street art. There's galleries. There's parties. It's quite lit. It's very, very lit, actually. I was supposed to be out there, but wasn't. But, you know, whatever. Some stuff came up. Sneakers being an extension of art. I mean, not even really. Sneakers are art when you think about it. So it was the perfect place to drop a crazy amount of heat, and that's exactly what happened. Different brands, but a lot of heat. You had these that Soulfly did. Ronnie Feig teamed up with Nike and re-released the Holy Grail Air Force One low linens at Kith Miami. That was crazy. John Geiger did an Air Force One low. The La Flames, those were fire, no pun intended. Adidas and Pusha T had the grayscale, those are fire. Uh, what else was there? I don't know, man, it was just, it was a crazy amount of heat. And by the way, some of those other shoes I mentioned are on the way, so stay tuned. Hang on a second. Birdman hand rub, stay tuned. It's crazy to think that all of those basically released at the same exact time. That is a lot of heat. That is a lot of fire emojis. That's at least 38 fire emojis, at least, maybe even more. Speaking of which, if you want to see the sneakers I get, if you want to see them a little bit earlier than when I post to YouTube, make sure you're following me on Snapchat. It's Foamy. That's where I post everything first. That's the, the first look, the non-edited, you know, it's not the Instagram glamour shots. That's real deal, whole of field, super official early looks like when I get something in that's where I post it first and sometimes I may not even do a YouTube video on a sneaker but I will post it on snapchat so if you're interested make sure you check me out on snapchat back to these though I really don't even know where to start so simple but so clean these just scream Miami to me and I dig that this is some real cocaine cowboy shit right here this leather oh my lord when I tell you this leather is soft, I really, whatever I say is not gonna do it justice. This is like a newborn flamingo drinking a bottle of warm honey milk right as he dozes off in a chinchilla sleeping bag. That's what this feels like right here. This is amazing. And since we're talking about flamingos, peep this. These shrouds are reversible, which I think is a super cool touch. Hang on a second if I can get this thing on now. Bam, look at that flamingo season. Flamingo season is here. Now I would never rock them like this personally, but I still think it's dope. What I really, really think is dope is if you can see right here, I love how it just peeks out a little bit. Like you know it's there. It's not, this is a little too over the top. This is a little too, 
gaudy, if that's the right word. This is a little too flamboyant. You know what I mean? This is like overstated. Here, you can see it, the peak peeking out just a little bit. And I think that looks very, very nice, very nice. And man, not to keep harping on this quality, but this quality is next level. I recently got the trophy room pair, the Michael Jordan son Marcus did, the navy joints, those were exquisite, but these are even better in my opinion. These are that good. By the way, if you haven't seen the trophy room video that I did, um, it's just a few videos back, but I will put a link in the description so you can check that out if you want to. This is the summer killer. This is the summer assassin right here. Gotta put them on ice till at least June and then just break them out and crush the game. That is the objective. Peep the icy bottoms with the teal hits. Super, super classy. You also have pink insoles with a little bit of speckling and then it says soul fly, as you can see. The pink, white, teal combination is forever dope. Like I said, these just scream Miami Beach to me and I dig that. These just scream Miami Beach Hawaiian shirt, two buttons undone, the hairy chest peeking out of the top, 1987. That's what these are. Obviously, I'm in love with this sneaker. Let me know how you feel about them. Love them, hate them. 2016 is definitely ending with a bang. I mean, this is the last quarter. This is two minutes left in the game for every brand. So everybody is trying to drop the hottest sneaker. You have Adidas, you have Nike, Jordan. You, you have everybody that is really trying to do it. Let me know, leave a comment below. I always love to hear from you guys and girls. Let me know what sneaker are you looking forward to the most in the month of December. Let me know below. I'll do my best to respond to everybody. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Not too much else for right now. So until next time, Mr. Fomer Simpson, I'm out. If you like sneakers and dope shit, subscribe to the channel. We do at least three videos a week. You won't be disappointed.